Okay, so I'm going to share some weight loss and weight management tips that I've been using for years. They've worked for me, and I'm sure they'll work for you too. By the way, this is me. I can bench press 320, and I have a six pack. I told you. I'm going to start by sharing some common tips that you may have heard before. Most of us know that fast food isn't good for weight loss. One of the many reasons for this is fast food oftentimes has refined sugars, especially in the white bread. These refined sugars can cause an increase in blood sugar levels, which can cause an increase in fat storage. Since we really do need starch for energy, the alternative to white bread and other refined foods are whole grains. This includes brown rice, oatmeal, whole wheat pasta, and whole wheat bread. Don't eat flours. I don't know why those are in there. But the difference between refined wheat products and whole grains is that whole grains haven't gone through a polishing process which removes the bran from the grain. This allows the food to maintain its nutrients and fiber, and fiber helps control the appetite. Also high in fiber are legumes such as beans, lentils, and peas. Now I'm going to share what I believe are less commonly known weight loss tips. We all know that fruit is good for us. It's high in vitamins and antioxidants that can prevent cancer. But fruit also has a special kind of sugar called fructose. Contrary to what you may have heard, the sugar in fruit is not the same as the sugar in, say, soda. Fructose is a more healthy sugar and can actually suppress the appetite. So if you consume fructose, you may not eat as much later on in the day. It is also common knowledge that protein is good for us and that we need it to maintain healthy muscles. But protein also increases the metabolism and helps suppress the appetite. Of course being healthy is more than just about dieting. You also need to exercise. Exercise can be somewhat intimidating if you don't know how to do it correctly. There are many products and services on the market that offer exercise instruction. But one thing that consistently works for a lot of people is personal training. With personal training, you get a certified professional who understands the intricacies of exercise. The drawback to personal training is that it can be extremely expensive. At the typical rate, you could wind up spending over a thousand dollars in just one month. Luckily, there is a less expensive approach to personal training, and that's online personal training. AbstractHealth.com offers high-quality online personal training, where clients get a certified personal trainer to design workouts for them that can be downloaded on a daily basis. Each video is customized and can be downloaded to a smartphone and done at the gym or at home. Thanks for listening. I hope you found these tips helpful and that they bring you closer to your goals.